Ex-Pilots on 91.3 WISO. Thank you for listening today. Uh, and thanks, y'all, for coming by. Yeah, you, you bet. bet. <laughs> we, 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 when, we, when we heard that Evan Miller <laughs> was, was like, like, hey, come on through, we were like, like well, we got we to gotta go. go. <laughs> uh, can you tell me the, the names of those two songs that we just heard? Yeah, so the, the first, first one is called, called Hammer. Hammer. It's on our split with Gadge, uh, uh, everybody of, of which is also in this band. band. Um, <laughs> and then the second song was called Spirits Up. That's on our new album, Motel Cable. Um, it came out uh, last week, last Friday. We've been we've been keeping an eye on the on the singles here before the record came out, so we've been playing that. Hell yeah! Uh, Thanks, man. A handful of times so far, so thank you. Since you since you brought up uh, Gadge and the members of this band also being in that band, talk to me about the the uh, Western PA music scene. It's very uh, it's very diverse, at least in Pittsburgh right now. Uh, if you if you know who we are, you probably know who like Feeble Little Horse is. Um, mm-hmm. And uh, Mersh Lemon is also really good. It's not really the same kind of music, uh, but she just put out a new. Is it out yet? Her new album is it out yet? Okay, the singles are out. Mersh Lemon's very good. Very good singer songwriter stuff. Um, also from Pittsburgh, right? Oh yeah, yeah, definitely. Also a huge hardcore uh, scene in Pittsburgh, which Andy, the drummer, and I are in a couple bands. Um, but yeah, it's um, it's great. Right now, it's very, very good. A lot of a lot of house venues come and go there, um, as leases work out. Um, but a lot of great venues. Thunderbird is probably my favorite there. Maybe Billet Box, maybe Bottle Rock. I can't pick one. They're all really good. If you're passing through Pittsburgh, you you gotta go to a show here. It's there. It's a lot of fun. It's <laughs> there. Also. Uh, in in way of Philly, you, if you know who we are, you probably know who Tagabo is. They're getting a body of water. Yeah, a, another really big name in in the PA. I guess that's Eastern PA. Yeah. Oops. I think, I think Oh yeah. oh yeah. There's the there's 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 the keyboard mic um, and there's also the fancy extra mic. Um, yeah. I'm seeing a lot of like newer bands, like like young college kid bands, like starting up now that are kind of like, not, you know, directly trying to sound like Tagabo or anything, but like that style of music and like you know a lot of Philly I think is like starting to bleed in. Feeble Little Horse kind of had like a big splash and like, like the Last year. new bands like that are coming up and it's it's kind of cool to see that you know like this, like. It's like regeneration, you know, of totally. You know, older bands getting older, and then there's something sprouting, you know, from the newer stuff too. It's cool. Yeah, Pittsburgh is uh, it's a good spot to be in right we now. We love it. Yeah. I think I think the one spot I know in Pittsburgh off the top of my head is the Government Center. Is that still yes? There? Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. They have shows all the time there, um, and um, everybody that works there is really nice too. I just saw a great band, Gina Gori, just played. Yeah, Gina Gori is one of our favorite Pittsburgh yeah. bands. They're very, very good. So yeah. how how I found out about y'all, uh, Ethan, I think I might have messaged you on Instagram about this a while ago. Uh, I, years, I don't even know when at this point, years ago, I found, I don't know how many of you were in Barlow. Yeah, me, me and Andy. Yeah, this is just, yeah. Yeah, yeah. like I'll, like I have, well, if I had them, I would show them to you, but like I have like some of the, first couple barlow tapes at my house oh, yeah. and like stuff on my phone uh i have oh, yeah, absolutely man. no idea where i found that anymore it was so long ago um the <laughs> were they th- that was before we had a printer so we just they, they, they were like collages right like, yeah, like, yeah, yeah 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 like re, yeah re man i wish reclaimed I, tapes and yeah stuff. yeah i i wish i had the time to <laughs> make custom tapes for people now <laughs> I, I feel like but the the fell asleep EP was oh, 2013, yeah. so I guess yeah. it was around that time. I feel like yeah. almost every um, every little like weekend tour we've gone out on the road, like there's always like one person that comes up and is like, "Wait, you guys were in Barlow?" <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's like, yeah, yeah, man. <laughs> so I so I found out about y'all because I was driving around one night and I think a, like a Barlow song came up on my shuffle and I was like, whatever. Like I wonder what those guys are up to. Like I haven't heard yes. anything about that in a while. And so I did some snooping and then I found this band and I think it was the last 
big GBV thing. Some of you were in town for that, doing something at oh, Yellow yeah. Cab, I think. Yes, yeah, me, me and Nick did that. Nobody, yeah. nobody else could make it to that show. Um, <laughs> and then I, can, so you, I can you hear my passive aggressive <laughs> in, in, in the way I'm shaping my mouth? I'm looking you, at them you, judgingly. You made up for it this time. It's okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, oh, yeah. yeah. So yeah I, me and Nick were at that show. You guys were not. <laughs> I investigated the X Pilot stuff. I'm like, oh, this is great. Thanks, man. And so it's uh, been really nice to be able to keep up with this current thing now. Um, oh, yeah, man. I, pre- I appreciate you uh, enjoying it. Thank you for making it. We'll keep doing it. Please. <laughs> uh, so, so the reason that you're here this weekend, we're recording this, is because of the, the annual Guided by Voices festivities. Y- you all opened for GBV on uh, the big Friday night show at the Bright Side. By the time we're recording, well, uh, yeah, it w- by the time we would have done this anyway, it would have been over. But uh, <laughs> how did it go? How was the gig? Oh, it was amazing. Um, lost my, vo- I mean, you can probably tell my voice is kind of gone here uh, from being up front and uh, <laughs> screaming all for two and a half <laughs> hours along with the songs. Um, I don't know. They're the best band in the whole world to me, um, and <laughs> at least two of us. Um, <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Mary's the biggest GBV fan in, in of all of us. Oh, definitely. Uh, yeah, yeah. Beyond a shadow of a doubt. No, I'm just kidding. That's definitely me. No, uh, well, no, it could be. No, it's me. That was kind of tight. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, it was. It was amazing. Bob, Bob, and Doug, and Bobby, and Kevin, and Narc. They're all great. Um, uh, I realistically, um, if I could have seen that show poster when I was 14 I uh, I, w- I would have been like okay this is a, doing this will all be worth it eventually it'll pay off one day <laughs> um, but yeah man it was it was a blast uh, we um, and they played great and then um, Bob talked directly to me in front of the whole people and he said never get signed he, <laughs> w- <laughs> he was just like you guys <laughs> he's like hey let's give it up for the ex-pilots hey listen man you don't want to get signed we, like, like, and that like, was it. Like they, they told us, they told us like b- back in the day, we get like twenty percent. We didn't get anything. <laughs> <laughs> and he was like, he's like, so you guys have a good. Don't get signed. <laughs> and then, uh, oh, hey, Sam from Smoking Room, if you're reading, if you're listening to this, sorry, that's it's our label. Yeah, are, are you signed? Is are you are you are you officially signed? I, what does that word even mean anymore? I don't, I don't <laughs> know. I mean, sa- Sam, did uh, you sign a contract? No. That's what that word means. No. <laughs> yeah, I text Sam. I, yeah. I text Sam. I, I wake up at like 6 a.m. and I text him. Uh, and sometimes he's like, yeah, that's fine, bro. But can you like not text me like in the middle of the night? And, and I'm like, what? And then I remember that he's in California. So he gets it at like 1 a.m. Ah. Sorry, Sam. <laughs> Time's not different. What are you going to do? <laughs> I guess wait until noon to text him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sure. My time. Uh, no, so I love I love Sam. He, he's he's uh, he's the crap. He's the crap. <laughs> In radio terms. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, so when when did you all come to Guided by Voices? I mean, from from listening to your music, I can. I mean, if I hadn't known that that they're, a, you know you're a big fan of this band. I can, I can hear it in the spirit of the music that you make. So when did you, when did you first come to Guided e- by Voices? It was either 2009 or 2010. Um, I was either 14 or 15. I forget, but I remember like, uh, um, I, I've been recording music since I was like nine or 10. Um, and my you just got my grandpa's like hand me down old gear. He's like, yeah, I got a 16 track. Here's the eight track. Um, and then I was like kind of depressed when I was like 14. It's like, I'm, I'm, put my heart and soul into this, but it doesn't sound professional. Like, it, 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 like no one's going to ever care about this. And then uh, I came, someone came across GBV on, like, an internet rabbit hole, and I heard Propeller first, and I was like, oh, my God. Like, this this rules, and it doesn't sound like it was made by, like, Rick Rubin. And that was, <laughs> was kind of, like, my introduction to that. And I was like, okay, I'm just going to keep recording at home because these guys can do it. And the other thing is, like, all eras of their stuff is amazing, like, all, all fidelities. But it is very cool that, like, that... You know, B thousand and Alien Lands; those are the biggest ones. Like for a reason, they're they're so like they sound crazy. Like like, like no rec- like no record sounds like that. You know, like there are a lot of records that try to emulate that sound, but it it, it also it sounds crazy. It sounds amazing. It sounds phenomenal. Yeah, and I I literally met um, this is Nick. I literally met Ethan and Andy 
because a friend like introduced us on the pretext that we were like the biggest Guided by Voices fans she knew. So, <laughs> so literally, yeah, like, yeah, and we, and, we, and we still are. And uh, for me, a, a friend showed me B thousand in high school, and uh, I loved it. And I just fell down the rabbit hole. You know, f- listen to a new album every month for the rest of my life, and just get deeper and deeper and deeper into it. The nice thing is, a, a, a new GBV album every month for the rest of your life. You'll they're only doing one this year, supposedly. What? I, I don't know. I don't know if I believe them. Yeah, but. they they've said that before. Maybe. Yeah. We'll see. I wouldn't. I'm not going to be. Uh, if another one comes out in uh, the year 2024, I'm not going to be shocked by that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'll t- I'll talk to you more about. We sort of like circled around the 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 recording on tape thing. I'll talk to you more about that. in yeah. in, in a second. But uh, can we can we hear some more songs? Yeah, perhaps? you bet. Let me. Put the uh, my my reverb side back on. Triple double check. There we go. Y'all ready? Yeah. yeah. All right. Let's do it. It's more X Pilots here on ninety one three WYSO. X Pilots on ninety one three WYSO. Who are those three songs? That was Dog in the Yard, uh, which is the first one. We really played those three, and then there was Trophy Boy from Findlay, the first thing for twenty fifteen, and then Too Far from. The self-titled album. So, Dog of the Yard, Trophy Boy, and Too Far. What'd you? Oh, sorry about the echo, folks. Yeah, that was me partially. We're back. We're back Don't. in. We're back in the the echoless zone now. <laughs> nice. How many How many releases do y'all have under your belt now? Finley was 2015. Um, one, two. Uh, I think five, four. Oh, if we're not, if, yeah, if we're not counting the singles, I think four. We got Finley, we got Motel Cable, we got Self Titled, and we got the Gad Split. We've got like 30 more songs too, but we just don't know what to do with. Motel Cable had like two different track lists before the one that came out, and I'm, I'm not kidding, none of them, none of the songs in the original track list ended up on there. <laughs> so we're going to have to spend uh, hopefully not another four years workshopping those. Um, you know, I want to put another album out within the next year and a half, I think. They're, they're all looking at me like, like, <laughs> you didn't see that, guys, but Nick gave me a very enthusiastic and sarcastic smile. <laughs> no, maybe it was real. If only we could send images over the air. Yeah, yeah. If only people could see things from somewhere right. else. Listen, folks, Andy just, it's, he brought, he's cooking. Uh, he brought a grill in. <laughs> he's, um, oh, and what's, oh, it's a pig. He's making a pork pock. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's making a, a pork pot-bellied pig roast. You can't see it, folks, because you're not here. Yeah. But, All you right. know, if only you could yeah. be. <laughs> and Mary is le- levitating. <laughs> it's and, true. And Mitch is, uh, well, he's normal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> man, things are going crazy in here, man. I, I wish know. you guys could see it. It's, it's a shame you can't see it. Oh. You'll just have to um, just imagine it in your head. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh and, oh, and oh my, I just kicked my pedal. That actually did happen. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, that was real. So at least 2015, this band has existed. There's other groups in the area that all share members. So like, where do where do all the, the songs in all these groups, like, how do you, where, <laughs> how, do, how um, do you decide where, like? <laughs> great, great question. There is literally no rhyme or reason. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, I don't know. For, yeah, hardcore. Uh, oh, oh yes, yeah, right. That's true. I'm not gonna like put my like. We, I'm in a band called Living World, and uh, we're not gonna put our hardcore riffs in this band. Um, so like sober clones. Oh right, yeah. We're also in a band called Sober Clones uh, with uh, members of Speed Plans and um, Alamones and Silver Car Crash, and that's a little more like psychedelic pop, like our Stevie Moore in- influenced stuff. That sort of thing makes a lot more sense to put towards like a smorgasbord of things. I, I really don't want to say, like, the more it sounds like GBV, it goes in this band. I really don't want to say that. But that's what that it kind is. of, yeah. Ma- l- it's kind of true. Yeah, <laughs> right, yeah. Um, but for Gadge, Mitch right, Mitch and Nick write pretty much everything for that band. Um, so that, like, if they're working on a song together, it's like, okay, this is probably going to be on the next Gadge release. Um, with this band, I write most of it. I I give everybody, like, here's here's 30 songs. Tell me if these suck or not. And I think that's probably how we ended up with the Motel Cable track listing. I, I, they're, they're my editor. 
Does is Barlow still a thing, or is that one done? I, I would say I would say done. We're just doing our next pilot right the, now on the back burner. Yeah, I would, yeah. I would, I would say done. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I would say done. Yeah, no. Um, I mean, every I don't know. So people falsely say Barlow turned into X pilots, though, and that is not the case. Right, that is not true. Um, I don't know. It's just on pause right just now. Just because bands share members yeah. does not mean they are the same. Band. Right, right. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm glad to know that. Basically every music scene is the same. If you're in a if you're in one band, the likelihood you're in multiple other bands is yeah. extremely high. Yeah. I wish I had less time so I could only be in one band. But you know, the more time I have, the more time I'm hanging out with these guys. I I have found myself okay. in about I guess technically four right now. Nice. At, at varying activity levels, but yeah, yeah. they all they all do technically exist. So nice. But uh, thankfully, they're, if, if they were all active at the same time, I think I would die. I don't think I could do this job. Yeah. Right <laughs> I want to give a shout out to Christine, who is JD from Barlow's uh, current project he's working on. He d- it's really cool, like uh, C86 kind of stuff. Um, he uses that. Uh, like, uh, does he have an 808? What, what's yeah. the drum? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's like C86, but with like an 808 drum machine. It's, it's, it's pretty interested. solid. Yeah, it's very cool. I'm game. He takes forever to put stuff out. Um, mm-hmm. So. One of these days, something will be out. But yeah, look look out for Christine. They're good. Okay. It's JD from Barlow. Uh, so I want to ask you about this new one, yeah, Mot- Motel Cable. Yeah. So what's the span of time of songs that ended up on that one? Um, Are they all fairly recent or there's so some I've, old stuff? I've been working on Motel Cable since 2019. The, the most recent Barlow release, Walls of Future, half of those songs were going to be on Motel Cable. And then I was like, no, just, these are bar- they put them on the Barlow album. So Motel Cable kind of has some uh, some uh, significance to like the most recent Barlow release. So I guess like 2019. But every song that ended up on the album, like uh, probably I don't know, with the last two years, I think Motel was the oldest. Uh, mm, no, 30 Days, because 30 Days is a very old song. I wrote that one when I was like 15 or 16. But if we're talking like. Other than that, probably one, one is 108 from your song. Nick's song is from. Oh, okay. So 108 is probably the oldest recorded song on it. Then it's 2017. And then Mary's song. When did when did you write "Dog in the Yard"? Last June. I remember you you sent that to me. Recent. 2023. You sent me a demo of that, and I was at the gym and I listened yeah. to it, and I I just, I just went home. It wasn't so really supposed to be an X Pilot song. I just like wrote that. Oh, sorry. Just for funsies, and then you were just like, "Actually, I think this would be really cool." <laughs> Give and me that song. <laughs> you, as I say, <laughs> Ethanified it and made it very different, but like in a good Sorry. way. Oh, okay. No, you don't have to apologize. <laughs> it was good. Oh, okay, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> it was much slower and quieter, and it got. Oh, that's got to change. Louder and we faster. Gotta, we got to make it. Was it good. Huge. <laughs> um, the the ending of that song is, I think, my favorite moment on the album. They tried to make a whole wall of sound thing. Um, there, it, it, it's, it's like, I think, 40 tracks. <laughs> it's crazy. Hmm. So I, I, that's a good seg into my next question, I guess. I, I, in the little notes on Bandcamp, it's uh, you did it with Logic and on a Porta Studio. Four, yeah. 424. So I'm guessing the one with 40 tracks is not on, the, on, no, on no. cassette. <laughs> no. So um, the Finley... The first thing is a 100% cassette. That's why it sounds like, um, I mean, it sounds pretty bad, um, but I, li- <laughs> I like it. Um, it's, it's all stuff I did in high school. Um, so it's, it's all like, I did it on a Korg CR4. You can't bounce on that. So what I did was. Yeah, so once you're out, you're yeah, out. Well, when I was out, I would just like put the headphone out into a stereo, like into my dad's boom box. Uh, and then I would just put a new tape in the four track with the bounced, and I would keep repeating that until I would ha- I could do like eight or nine tracks, and it that's why there's so much crazy hiss because it's like so much generation loss. <laughs> um, we're not doing that again. Um, the, the self-titled album I started every song on four track and finished on Logic. I think I recorded all the drums and all of the bass on the four track, and I just did the rest on Logic. Motel Cable is like ninety percent Logic. Um, a lot of the song, a few of the songs I started on, like Mystery Ship and Not Yet, are like mostly four track, like half four track, and then the rest I did overdub on the computer. 
This is really boring for anybody that doesn't know what logic. And yeah, I was going to say is. for our for our <laughs> listeners that aren't musicians, uh, back in ye olden times, uh, before the the advent of digital multi tracking, uh, home recording, I should say, you could do multi track recording on cassette at home. You didn't have to go to a, a big studio. Yeah, believe to do it or this. believe it or don't. <laughs> and and Dayton particularly has a uh, a critical history of this with guided by voices of course who i mean they're certainly were not the first band to ever do that but they definitely made a big splash in indie rock world of that time with all this cassette recorded stuff and inspired many folks to do the same decades on even what draws you to with all the technology we have available to do stuff on tape, on cassette. Um, when I was like a kid, my mom would get at Dollar Tree used to be able to get a three pack of cassettes, like blank cassettes for a dollar. Oh, um, and what I would, a dream! Yeah, <laughs> I mean, they sounded really bad. I don't even. I think they. I, I don't. They were a dollar. Yeah, right. Yes, three of them for a dollar. <laughs> and I, I had that was the beginning of my recording music. I was, just, I would just like, I don't know, like. I had my mom's like Radio Shack cassette recorder. I, w- I would just like yell into it and like h- like h- hit it like to be drums, but I was just like totally abusing the tape recorder because I'm five and crazy. <laughs> um, but I don't know. I I just and then I did that with like uh, I just put like a uh, like a I don't know. I I just like it. I, I'm not like militant about it because it's like l- that's yes, like you said, technology the technology exists it's so much easier to just record everything on logic with with an interface but i do love i don't know i it's, it's like instant nostalgia for me being a kid and it's like i would have loved to do this when i was a kid but instead i just screamed into a, a machine <laughs> um i don't know I, I i'll probably always do it, it may, maybe like increasingly less over the years as i get lazier and lazier it's like i don't want to have to i don't want to have to like record everything on a cassette recorder if i don't have to but i do love it yeah, there, I mean, there's a, there's a certain sound to it that you, I mean, you can emulate it other ways, but yeah, the easiest way no to yeah, to the me. easiest way to do it is just to use the real thing. Yeah. But you know, in the in the limitations of the tech, you have to make certain kinds of decisions that you don't have to make when you have endless open possibility. Yeah. So when you box yourself in, you really have to think about like what what does the song need. And what does it not need? Because I can't put that in it. Yeah, right. Um, that I don't have space for that. that. Yeah, that totally was, like, for Finley, that was definitely how that worked for me. Um, I really don't care to re-record a lot of the crap on there um, because it's like, you know, it, it, it's supposed to sound bad. That, that's okay. <laughs> you know, at, at, at this point, it's like, that's okay. I, I don't want to have to, you know, have all that generation loss going back and forth in the boombox and four track for nothing. I don't know. It's cool. They're fun. I uh, admittedly, I, like, I have a Mark II 424. I admittedly that's, have never actually. That's, yeah, that's the one I have. I have a band that I didn't use it, but one of my bandmates used it to record some stuff. I personally have not ever really used it for its intended purpose, but yeah. uh, it's fun to have around. I'll never yeah, get man. rid of it because I'll never get it back. Yeah. Also, they're like insane. They're stupid expensive, man. I know. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, I got mine for like 75 bucks in like. Tw- the one I have right now, I got for seventy five bucks in twenty fifteen, and now it's like five hundred dollars. They so stupid, dude. They're 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 hot little commodity items now <laughs> yeah. because they 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 don't make new ones. So. Yeah, yeah, that is true. That so is if true. you have one out there, yeah, either you're sitting on a wad of cash you didn't know you had, or <laughs> keep it, don't yeah. get rid of it. Yeah, yeah. Find someone who will service it for you. Do that. Very wise they, words. they are there are those people out there listen they, to they, Evan they do exist I need to get mine <laughs> it's in it, it works but it's 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 a little dusty I'm sure it could use a little uh, little spruce perhaps well, you've got it that's the hardest part <laughs> yeah I'm never letting go <laughs> do we have time for two more for oh us? yeah we absolutely have time for two more nice yeah let's do nice. it nice all right thanks, thanks man. man with that in mind two more from X pilots here on 913 WYSO <laughs> X Pilots here on 91.3 WISO. What were those two that we just heard? That, that was. Oh, 30 Days. <laughs> First one was 30 Days off of Motel Cable. 
And the second one was Dianetics off of Self Titled. Dianetics, not diabetics. Sorry. <laughs> Dianetics is in the. That's the Scientology thing. Right? Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, How do we feel about Scientology? <laughs> You know, Asking the big question. I think they like to sue, so I'm going to say nothing. <laughs> they do notoriously like to sue, so I hear. Oh, you would know what's up. <laughs> Talk about that off mic. <laughs> I realized I never actually, uh, we never did uh, a full group introduction here, so can we all uh, gather around a microphone and yeah. say hello to the fine folks? Three, two, one. Hello. I mean, that works too, but Surprise. <laughs> can we get like a, a round of names is really what I ask. <laughs> oh, let me mute, unmute that mic. There we go. All right. This is Nick. I'm on second guitar. I'm Andy. I'm on first drums. <laughs> hey, second drums is a thing. We can Money. <laughs> I'm Mary. I, uh, I, I do this keyboard thingy. And vocals. And vocals. Yes. No, no, actually, oh, oh, oh. No, I'm a gentleman. Uh, go ahead. Go ahead. I'm uh, I'm, <laughs> I'm uh, I play. I uh, know I'm, I'm, I'm Mitch. I play bass. We only have one bass. Yeah. First bass. Ha ha. First bass. Yeah, first, first. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Mitch got the second bass. That's all, hey, that's all I have to say. <laughs> I'm Ethan. I'm the idiot you've been talking, hearing talk about tape recorders for an hour. <laughs> I sing and play guitar. And they are ex-pilots from Pittsburgh. <laughs> we are the ex-pilots. Thank you. Uh, so you said you have plenty more songs in the yeah, dude. We in got, the vault. We we right got now. like if we wanted to put two albums out right now, we could, um, but we won't because it would be really bad. Well, I don't know. We 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 don't have to spend another five years on an album like we did with this one. Um, yeah, I don't know. We'll. Everyone's got songs. Mary's got a couple songs in the in the in the pinned messages in our group chat, which is called ex-boyfriends for some reason. Wait, no, not it's anymore. Oh now it's um, what is it called? Yeah, I don't know. What? Something <laughs> League of I don't know. Extraordinary pilots. Oh yeah, there yeah, we, we go. all got a yeah. few songs in there, uh, in in our dockets and in our folders. Yeah. They're all ready to go. And, and our QuickBooks. <laughs> our QuickBooks are full of songs. Yeah. <laughs> so we could release another album. Right next whenever. to your financial statements. Yes. Yeah. 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 You want to see from those. the this those from the record same. label. <laughs> right next to the record label advances is right. all. Right. right. Yeah. It's what yeah. Bob was talking about. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Now we got. I don't know. I want to put out like a like a an EP very very soon because I don't want to have all those songs sitting the 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 crapper forever. Um, what a word! I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you release them at your own pace. I mean, you don't have to wait another five years. We yeah. also don't have to go at no, like Bob no. at Bob Pollard pace and put out a gajillion things. Oh, yeah, yeah. How how that's possible? I still can't wrap my brain. I think he's probably the, that. he's probably the only like functioning musician that I know of that can put music out at that alarming of a rate and it's like still good. There's a lot. Otherwise, it's just like you know. And we sit there and worry about like, oh, does this does the hi hat sound right? I don't know. The guitar tones weird. Let's fiddle with it. And he has other people fiddle with it, or it just doesn't get fiddled with, and it sounds crazy. So and that's just the way right. it goes. Fiddle faddle. Yes, <coughs> lots of fiddle faddling can be done <laughs> if you want to go down that road. <laughs> Faddler's Beach is coming out in two months. Yes. yes that's right. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> you heard it here first, folks. You yeah. heard it from the source. So we all have it's. We all have a. S it's going to be like X pilots, Mary, come on, X pilots, Andy, Odessa. It's like the the Kiss said they did their albums. <laughs> yes, we're going to put six albums out at once, and it's just going to be our face on the front, and the album is just called our name. Mm -hmm. huh. This is news to everybody here. I'm glad that you could all be here today. It'll be like uh, like Outcast style. Everybody gets half. Oh yeah, you can yeah, do yeah, your yeah. own. Yeah. Yeah, you each a got your six own. Six-sided uh, <laughs> cookie. <laughs> uh, well, so you're you're fresh off the release of this new one, Motel Cable. Do you have any plans to tour or anything like that behind this record? We're talking about it. Talking We're about like, it. Pittsburgh's in such a nice location to do like, yeah, 
like it's really easy for us to get to the East Coast, New York and Philly and mm-hmm. get over here and Chicago and Nashville. So before, we're, we're before, talking about before the year's over, we'll probably do a, a three or four day run at least. Um, definitely want to do something uh, longer at the beginning of next year. Yeah. D- d- yes. Th- yes. We at gave, some point. We gave you a very long answer. <laughs> it could have just been yes. We, we'll be doing it before the year's over. Well, if you want to come back in this general direction, we would welcome you with open oh, arms. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We would absolutely love to. Do you make the the the, the pilgrimage out here every year now for M- this? Me, Mitch, and Andy, or me and Nick and Andy have like every year since 2019, um, except for one year you missed. How how long has this? This GBV weekend been a thing. Do any of you oh. know? This is this was Heat Fest twelve. That's what. Yeah, that I thought. Yeah. That's what I thought and I, think I saw. It's happened every year except for seven last year. Oh yeah, well, I mean, I think with the oh, lo- COVID, with, with the COVID lockdowns, there are a couple years that missed. Last year didn't really count as Heat Fest, right? Because it was the forty, the forty, the show. Yeah, yeah, which was sick, by the way. Both nights, second night I saw them, w- they might have been as loud as I saw MBV. I don't remember. But oh, I would go into life-ending amounts of debt to see <laughs> MBV. Yeah, we, I will. I will do anything. That was my first time in Philly when we. Who who all went to that? You went to that. You went to that. You went to that. No, I didn't take it. I couldn't go. Did you go to Teenage Fan Club? Yes. No. Okay. No, no. Okay. So that's a trade-off. We got to see MBV. He got to see Teenage Fan Club. I'm I'm doing the thing with the weights, audience. No joke. It. It really, really did do permanent damage to my hearing because I was an idiot and I was like, I'm not going to wear these earplugs. Yeah, what at the either. at the GBV show or the, the MBV? The MBV show. Yeah. MBV for the uninitiated is my, my bloody it's Valentine. There's yeah. a lot of BV bands <laughs> being <laughs> thrown around, yeah, thrown yeah. around mm. right now. <laughs> I, that, that's like a, that's probably my other upset. Uh, who's for do or MBV? I, I can't pick for a second favorite band, but it's it's definitely up there. I guess I technically had the opportunity to see MBV when they toured in 2018. They weren't anywhere yeah, yeah. close to me, but in theory, I could have gone, yeah. and I didn't, and we I, I regret Philly. it. That was my first time in Philly. Um, we went to a place called the Barcade afterwards. It was great. <laughs> and, uh, you know, we played some games. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Look for one coming to an overpriced neighborhood near you. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, novel concept. Is there any other activity on the ex-pilots or related front in the in the near future we should be Ethan keeping our I, eyes and ears open for ethan and i are in another band called sober clones and we will have an album or an ep coming out in a little while the ep first i believe yeah the ep first and then uh the, the album i don't know probably around this time next year i would imagine yeah and gadge will be <coughs> re-releasing our side of the split with barlow it'll it's going to get remastered and we'll have that out on streaming and some physical copies too. And then there will be new stuff from Gadge too, but that's going to be the first thing. Great. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, before I let y'all go, I always love asking other musician folks what they're into right now. So is there anything you've been listening to on the trek from Pittsburgh or just otherwise? What are, you, what are, what are y'all really into right now? Uh, well, we listen to GBV. Ethan <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, that tracks. Yeah. That makes sense. Um, <laughs> my favorite new thing is Pittsburgh band Rex Tycoon just came out with an EP oh, called yeah. Cash Reward. They're awesome. It's so good. Um, and that EP is just five amazing songs. And then they have an album. I don't know when it's coming out, but I heard it and it's amazing. So that's going to be really good too. I think uh, Pop Wig Records is what they're on, but that's definitely my favorite new band right now, and they just happen to be from Pittsburgh. Yeah, Rex Tycoon is awesome. Yeah, Rex Tycoon. Um, Ralph and I just went to the uh, the Big Star Quintet like, tribute shows last week in DC. Yeah, so I've been listening to a ton of Big Star, and it's never a bad time to listen to Big Star. Yeah, been on a big kick. The Big Star kick. I don't know if I can say the name of the album on the radio, but I've been listening to the Danny Brown and JPEG Mafia album like crazy. Oh, yeah, you definitely can't say that, but yes, I know <laughs> yeah, the one yeah, you're talking yeah. about. Um, it came out last year, but I, I've been listening to it like a lot this year. I love that album. It is so freaking good. It is really, really good. Also, yeah, the new Rex Tycoon stuff is really good, too. He's, you said Popwig is their, their label? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Does anybody else have anything they'd like to recommend to the, to the people? Um... I've been listening to the 
it's, there's a record he's putting out uh, the Wednesday Jason M J Lenderman stuff. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Um, oh, I've I've yeah. been keeping a close eye on yeah. this. And he's he's coming to Pittsburgh soon, and I think I'm very very excited to see you know him do that live. Uh, the live record was really really good too. I've kind of been listening to that. Um, it's so good. Yeah. At the time we're recording this, I guess Sunday is the new week, so it, it comes the the new record comes out later this week, and yeah. I'll be at Hopscotch Fest uh-huh. on the or I guess he's playing. I think he plays on the day the record comes out. Yeah. So I didn't I ex- even know that. I expect that to be uh, bonkers. Yeah, it's gonna be wild. Yeah, dude. <laughs> yeah. What are you listening to, Mary? Do you have anything? What's in your yeah, this is basically the what's in my bag portion of the, of the I, interview. I chronically listen to literally the same thing over and over and over and over and over again, ad nauseum. Um, so, yeah, I've been listening to actually the Marias lately a lot and Puff. I always listen to Puff. That's like the only thing I listen to. I'm kind of embarrassed to admit it. <laughs> I love Puff oh, so no, much. No, don't be embarrassed. There's but nothing to be embarrassed about. <laughs> around, around four people that wouldn't shut their mouths about GBV for an hour and a half. <laughs> I feel like I have the most, like, I don't want to say normal, but like basic like music taste. Like, I, I've been listening to the Charlie XCX album. Oh, it's so good. Oh, yeah, Brad like, is good. I, I love it. We all have what been listening to that, actually. <laughs> it GBV is, is Brad. Club <laughs> yes. GBV yeah, yeah. is brat. I would agree. Is, is yeah. GBV brat coded? Yeah, yeah. What's hey? Among Club the, Classics is the best song on there. I will say we that. We can talk about that later. But among <laughs> <laughs> among that the first you, three people in line for the GBV show Friday night, one of them was wearing a bright green brat. Oh, that shirt. was an excellent yeah, yeah. shirt. And, that was and, great. And it said, "Every child of God's a brat." I loved it. It was perfect. It That's, That's the like truth. The line in Best of Jill Hives. Yeah. yeah, it was a yeah. GBV brat shirt. Yeah, it's it, it, it's oh an every my child God. of God's uh, brat. <laughs> oh, I didn't yeah, know yeah. That. that's amazing. Yeah. yeah, it was it was actually really cool. They need that that needs widespread distribution. I was right gonna say, now. why is there any overlap between XCX fans and GBV fans? But then I realized that everybody just likes that album. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The Venn diagram is it's not a circle. <laughs> <laughs> there's a, it's not it's not a big overlap, but it's there. Yeah. It's there. But they, Fantastic. <laughs> uh, is there anything else you would like to say to the the people before we? Thank you. Yeah, yeah thanks Big so much, goodbye. everybody, for listening. Thanks. Um, thanks. I, I want everybody to know. I want everybody to know here that I'm like obsessed with smells, and I want to say that I'm I'm <laughs> a little upset that you guys are moving because this this room this this whole place smells so good. Well, hopefully we can replicate it. Uh, accurately in the in the new spot when we God, get there. God, I hope so. We're gonna try our best. <laughs> I'll put I'll put a word into the to our our engineer. Just keep the carpets. Okay. Well, well yeah, we'll transplant them. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, if the folks want to keep up with uh, what y'all are up to, and I guess the your associated bands as well, where where can they go do that? Um, Spotify, Apple Music, blah blah blah. All, all those all those we're on all those ones. Um, our, if you want like a record or a tape or a shirt or whatever xpilots.bandcamp.com um, and also a quick shout out to all our other bands Sober Clones Gadge Living World Barlow EKG. EKGs um, Nasty Nancy, Nasty Nancy. <laughs> yeah we can't keep track of our own bands the list goes on yeah yeah and, and uh yeah and you're on social medias oh yeah well. at xpilots on Instagram and Twitter oh well I think Twitter's xpilots pgh but yeah just search xpilots and there you go the the images of some guy smoking four cigarettes at once that I drew one time. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> uh, their latest collection called Motel Cable is out right now on Smoking Room Records. Uh, they're ex-pilots from Pittsburgh. Uh, Ethan, Nick, Andy, Mary, Mitch, thanks y'all so Thank much you, for spending Thank some you very time. much for having us. Thank you. Hey, we're clapping for you. <laughs> we're clapping for you. Everybody, one, two, three. We're clapping for you. <laughs> Thanks, y'all. <laughs> that was Pittsburgh PA's ex-pilots recorded back on September 1st here in the YSA Studios. Had a great time uh, with some great tunes. Go check out their latest called Motel Cable out on Smoking Room Records right now. You're listening to 91.3 WISO Yellow Springs. Support for YSO comes from our contributing listeners and the Dayton Foundation. With a Dayton Foundation charitable fund, donors can customize their giving to fit their needs and give to charities locally, nationally, and internationally. More details are at DaytonFoundation.org. The Dayton Foundation, we help you help others.
I've been your host, Evan Miller, on this Friday morning and afternoon. Thanks for spending some music time with me on Why So. Coming up next, more music courtesy of NPR and World Cafe. I will see you back again on Monday. Till then, have a great Friday and rest of your weekend. We'll see you next time. It's 201.